In this video, I'm going to show us how to get some artwork uh, to get a plan or a template for cutting out a shape that's not geometric, not a square, not a circle. So the first thing I'm going to do is search what I'm looking for. Um, the thing I'm going to explain here is I want to search for a PNG. I'm going to go a circular saw blade is what my art I'm looking for. So circular saw blade. And I want to go black and white. And then also I want to have it a PNG, no background. So PNG, no background. <clears throat> now when I search here, um, <clears throat> I'm not really worried about what color the things are because I can churn things, I guess, black and white, even though they may not show up that way. So I'm going to go to images. A couple important parts that I want to do here is I want to make sure there's no watermark in this, make sure they're not trademarked so I'm not stealing somebody else's stuff that doesn't want me to. Um, so I'm coming in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this circular saw blade right here. So come in, I'm going to select it, and then I can get this image to my H drive by minimizing my window, or just make sure it's restored down. All right. Remember, you can make it bigger and smaller that way. And I'm just going to click and drag and drop that all the way over into my H drive. And I have a couple windows blocking me right now, so I'm just going to minimize them. And I'm going to click and drag and drop that into my H drive. Now, the important part is getting it to your H drive because you will need to get it there before you put it into your Illustrator file. Now, once I have it in my H drive, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Adobe Illustrator file here, and I'm going to do a File Place to bring it in. So File Menu Place. Once I go there, it's going to ask me where do I want to find this thing at, and mine was in my H drive, and all I'm going to do to find that is go to my last one. <clears throat> now, mine came in as a JPEG, which will still work. I'm at, that, because it's a JPEG, I know it has a background, but that will still work too. I can get rid of the background, so I'm going to place it. Now, a lot of times when I click here, it's going to be much larger than what I need, and that's totally okay. So coming in here now, um, I have a huge piece that I'm going to shift-click the edge and make smaller. Remember, holding the shift key allows you to make things bigger and smaller um, at the same ratio as far as it locks it at a ratio of one to one. All right? uh, I haven't explained, but the alt key in the scroll wheel on your mouse uh, allows you to back in and back out of your, your piece easily if you ever get lost that way. So the scroll wheel and the alt key depressed. Now, once I get it over here, there's a few things I have to do to get this ready. All right. And right now, I guess it looks like there's not a background, but there's still that dotted background going on in my piece. Um, I want to come in, and what I'm going to do here is make it the size I want it. And I want to go almost out to my edge, just making sure it's, I, I'm inside my artboard, which is the white space. And all my stuff I've done so far is shift holding. All right. And then once I get here, <clears throat> where I'm ready to actually get it able to, I guess, change this is I go in here and I do an image trace. All right, so I have this selected. I'm in my selection tool and I can see up here in top image trace. I want to come over here and I can go black and white logo to start out and we're going to try a few different ones if it doesn't work. So black and white logo first of all. And it looks like it keeps it pretty good for me in the idea that that's going to work. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to hit expand. What expand does is it takes that art right there and it breaks it into different layers or different parts, um, usually by color. Uh, so when I hit expand here, I'm going to have a bunch of different little paths. Right now when I select it, it's all controlled. So if I select it and deselect, it's all the same thing. So I'm going to right click to break this apart and I'm going to ungroup it. Now, what I want to do here next is I want to get rid of everything that's not the black. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to select all the pieces I don't need. So get rid of the, rid of the outside piece itself. All right? And I could get rid of the inside pieces here. <clears throat> At the same time, I don't have to. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to change. If I want this to cut out in the shape of this, um, I need to change my outline um, to a red outline. So here's where this becomes the part that's important, I guess, as far as changing this. And that is going to my outline, which right now I just have a fill color, being black. I want to go to my outline and change that to a red outline. And remember, right now it says one point. I want to change that so it says 0.001 in. And that's, well, that didn't work. So, point zero zero one. I pushed the wrong button there. 
IN. And it should change it to 0 0.072 points. Now, what I have on my artboard now is black where it's going to laser engrave uh, this shape of the, the piece. I could change that to white if I wanted to select this and change that to white. It will just cut and not turn the black or laser engrave the back as far as raster engraving. It will just cut that shape out. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is, um, I have three little circles in here if I want to keep them in my can, or I can also delete them if I select them and get rid of them. I'm going to keep those being cut out, and actually I'm going to add one more circle just to make it a little bit bigger. So coming in here, I'm going to make another one that will hold my piece as far as like a, like a necklace. So once again, once again, I click, and I want to do the eighth inch circle, which I already has it memorized from last time, being a 0 0.025 and a 0 0.025, and then hitting OK. And I'm going to move that to where I want it to be in my piece, which is preferably in the middle. I'm just going to put it right over top of my other circle. And then it still has the outline being 0 0.0725 or 0 0.072 points. So right now what I'll have going on if I send this file to me is I would have a laser engraved cut going around in the shape of a blade and then also an eighth inch circle that cuts out. Um, if you wanted to put black writing in here um, with font or text, you could, um, but this shows you how to outline an image so it cuts in a shape that's not geometric. Thanks for watching.